How did the Roman Empire historically transition to today's Vatican? There's a question mark then. Is there a timeline from the Old Testament to the New Testament uh, to 325 A.D.? Question mark. Okay, I, I, I don't fully understand the second question. Um, but I do. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. Well, three, as long as you do, it works. <laughs> yeah, well, 325 A.D., was the official year of the founding of the Roman Catholic Church. 325 A.D. is when the Vatican uh, and the powers that be of Europe uh, that was still under the Roman law, still under the Rome, but Rome had fallen back in the 5th century. And so for a while there was nothing but chaos in Europe after the fall of the Roman Empire. But about 325 A.D. was the official founding of the Roman Catholic Church and the founding of the Vatican as the center for the worship of the Roman Catholic Church. And so all the, the Roman Catholic Church was was just picking up the pieces from behind the scenes by the international banking cartels who owned and ran the, the Roman Empire. As I said, Caesar didn't run anything. Caesar merely represented the government of Rome. And he was like the, uh, he, was the he wanted to make himself emperor of Rome. Well, that didn't work. And so, uh, uh, but the people who were financing the Roman Empire behind the scenes, uh, that was a couple of different families. Like today we have, in our world today, in Europe, we have the Rothschilds, and in America, we have the Rockefellers. And so, you know, governments, the big governments of the of the United States and of Europe, they don't do anything unless they check with the boss first to see if, the, if that's all right to do. Whatever it is they're going to do, you better check with the people who have the money, the bankers. Because you know, you want to do this, you want to go into Vietnam and fight a war, or you want to go here, you want to go there. Well, the only place you're going is where the bankers need you to go. If there's something that the Rockefellers need and they want done because of their corporations and their world-class strategy for controlling the, the, the whole damn earth, they need for certain countries to be wiped out, they need for certain areas to be taken over, they need for certain governments to be overthrown. And so they will let you know as the president what you're going to do for them. And if you're going to do it for them, they are the boss, not you. And they have their own people who are going to strategize the war and the overthrow of the countries that you're going to overthrow. And so, you know, we see the, the Bushes. Uh, championing the idea that we're going into Iraq and we're going to do this and we're going to do that in Iraq with our, uh, with all of our uh, people, all of our different countries are going to join together. No, no, no. You will do what your banking uh, partners behind the scenes are telling you to do. Bush didn't want to go into the Middle East. The banks wanted to go into the Middle East. Right. And it has to do with the oil and also the occult or hidden stuff in the Middle East that you don't know anything about. But the international cartels, they do know the stuff that's in the Middle East that you don't know is even there. And they want that stuff. They want it from the ancient Roman Empire, from the ancient Babylonian and Sumerian Empire. They want it from all the different ancient uh, you know, empires that have been hiding stuff, hiding their gold, hiding their technology, hiding all kinds of things in the Middle East for many, many centuries. In the international cartels that run this world, they know that. So they want certain countries overthrown so they can go in and do what they want and plunder and find all the different things that they know is in those countries, but they can't get into them right now unless you overthrow the government. And so all of a sudden we now have a have a war in the Middle East. Why? Because we you know, because they're evil doers. No, because the banking fraternities want something in Iraq, and the Iraqis are not interested in giving it to them, and they're not interested in telling them where to find what they're looking for in Iraq. 
So the international banking cartels out of out of uh, England, out of New York, they get together. They decide we're going to go into Iraq and take what we want. We're not going to ask them nothing. We'll send in our, uh, our, our Marines and our military machine and rip them off and take everything and take it all. And anybody gets your way, kill them all. Why? Because what we want out of those countries is so important, we don't give a damn how many people have to die. Just go in and get it, period. Mm. And if you can't do it, we'll have you assassinated and put somebody else who can do it. And so that's the bottom line on how the world works. It's all nothing but a business, period. It's a business and a corporation. And what we're talking about in the world war is a hostile corporation. Big companies, big banks taking over smaller countries and smaller banks. Right. It's just a business. And the mafia will tell you that.